man. So the NCAC, okay, the Nevada State Athletic Commission, is going to be holding a meeting, right, on April 30th to see how much they're going to be fining Armand Sarukian, Diego Lopez, and that Igor Severino guy, okay, the guy that beat his opponent now. They're discussing Diego Lopez, which I think it's stupid, bro. They're discussing the Diego Lopez situation whenever he jumped out the cage. You guys remember, I think he even asked Dana White, hey, can I jump? And he jumped out the cage and he went like to talk to Dana White. Now, for Ormond's Arukian, is this situation, okay? <laughs> when he was walking into the UFC 300, uh, uh, when he was walking to the cage at UFC 300, a Charles Oliveira fan, okay? Charles Oliveira fan was flipping him off and Armand lost it and swung at him. Now, Armand did a couple interviews, right? Armand did a couple interviews afterwards and he said why he did what he did. Now, I'm Armenian too, okay? Armand's auto is Armenian. He said where he's from, you can't just like flip someone off and cu cuss someone out and not expect, not expect the fight, okay? Now, I understand what he's saying. And Armand Sarukian is not from the United States, okay? Armand Sarukian, look, Nevada State Athletic Commission, Armand Sarukian is not from the United States. I've been here since 1999, okay? I grew up here. I've been here since 1999. I know the culture. I know the language. I know everything, right? I grew up here. I've seen people. I've been here with other races. Now, I live in Glendale, California, right? I live in Glendale, California. It's a city in Los Angeles where it's mostly Armenians. But I've had other friends, so I understand the culture. Now, Arman is not from the United States. That's why he said, hey, dog, where I'm from, you can't just cuss someone out or show the F. He was like, the, the way he described flipping someone off, he said, show the F, okay? Which is hilarious, right? It's amazing. Now, like I said, I grew up here, but I'm Armenian, right? I wasn't born here, but I grew up here. And I remember in school, when Armenians used to first move here, right? Like, I've been here, let's say, like, five, six, seven, ten years, like, in high school or whatever it was. New Armenians would come to our school, right? Like I said, Glendale, California is majority Armenians. It's a city in Los Angeles. And surrounding cities, there's Armenians, too. Now, the high school I went to, there's a lot of Armenians, right? We're almost all, all Armenian. Now, when Armenians first used to move here to my, to my high school, they would trip out. On like people cussing at them, people think because they're not used to it, bro. They're not used to some random guy saying, hey, MF, -er, right? Now, I used to see this a lot. Now, for us Armenians, I'm sure for other races too, but I can't speak for other races. Our moms are very sensitive to us, right? Our moms are very sensitive to us. If anything says if anyone says anything about our moms, it's an automatic fight. Dude, I used to see brand new Armenians that would come to my high school. Someone would say mf -er, right? I'm not going to cuss because YouTube, no. Someone would say mf -er, and they used to just jump them because they thought they're, they're, that guy is cussing at their moms. But realistically, if someone says mf -er, they're not cussing at your mom. It's just something they say. What I'm trying to say, the cultures are different, bro. So Nevada State Athletic Commission, the cultures are different, bro. Don't find them too much, okay? Now, the whole Diego Lopez situation... I feel bad for him now. Armand's going to be fine, dog. Armand's going to be fine. Armand seems like he's doing great. Today, he was actually doing a meet and greet uh, at Glendale, California, where I'm from. He was riding exotics and stuff. But Diego Lopez, man, it's just sad to me, bro. It's, it sucks, man. Like, Diego Lopez, I don't see him. I don't think he did anything wrong. Now, Armand Sarukian, I'm saying, like, oh, the cultures are different. But he still swung at a fan. Okay, look at the fan, dog. Look. It's Charles Oliveira. Oh, look, 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 look. Look, like he was flipping him off. <laughs> look, look, look. And like he socks him in the arm, bro. And the fan already came out and apologized. But yeah, dog. April 30th, the Nevada State Athletic Commission is going to be doing a meeting to see how much they're going to fine him. I saw some people saying $134,000. I don't know where that came from. But yeah, dog. And the other guy that beat his opponent, bro, come on, man. Come on. And some people are saying, oh, Armand Sarukian should get banned, should get suspended. Get out of here, man. I saw Charles Oliveira fan say, oh, get this thug out of the UFC. Bro, please, man. Just, just shut up, man. Stop coping, bro. Your fighter lost. Just shut up, man. We're just going to have to wait and see what they're going to decide. But I'm pretty sure they're going to find Armand Sarukian. I don't think it's going to be any suspensions or anything. Now, check this out, okay? Check this out. So, Islam Makachev. 
who I'm a huge fan of, but I'm torn when it comes to this, bro. I'm torn when it comes to this, but I'm always going to side with my Armenian brother because I'm Armenian. We ride together, right? Now, Islam Makachev did an interview, and he said, I'm not surprised Ormond turned it down because this guy talks about rematch all his life, but this maybe thirty third or fourth time UFC gave him a chance to fight me, and he said no. If you guys remember, after UFC 300, when Armand beat Charles Oliveira, <laughs> when Armand beat Charles Oliveira, Armand was offered to fight Islam Makachev for the belt in June, okay? And Armand Zarukian turned it down, and now it's Dustin Poirier. Now, for those people that are saying, Armand turned it down, he's ducking, you guys are idiots, man. This is all what Armand had to say about Islam's comments. That's not true. That's not true. The truth is that you want to fight me on short notice to have an extra advantage. It won't happen again, though. When was the last time you fought two times in six weeks, man? And it's true, bro. Fighting Islam Makachev, who I'm a huge fan of once again, man. If he's fighting anyone else besides Ormond, I'm rooting for Islam. But not this time, dog. Fighting Islam Makachev is the biggest fight of Ormond Sarukian's li life, bro. And if you guys remember, the first fight Ormond fought on short notice... He was 22 years old, and he was on UFC debut. And it's just too soon. He went through a full camp. I'm talking like I'm a freaking MMA trainer. But it's the truth, right? He went through, He just went to a, through a full camp. He fought Charles Oliveira. Beat him, right? That's his biggest win so far. He fought, fought Charles Oliveira. Beat him. And six weeks is too soon, bro. You can't just go to a full camp, take a couple days off, and go, go to another camp. And he's right, bro. I think someone calling for a fight... Uh, for their opponents to fight in short notice. It's a little weird, man. It's a little weird. But I love Islam Bakhtiev, man. But when he fights Armand Sarukian, I cannot wait. And it looks like he's going to fight Armand Sarukian after the Dustin Poirier fight. And he's probably going to go up to 170. So I don't know when that fight's going to be. But I can't wait, man. Let me know what you think of this in the comments, man. What do you think they should do? What do you think the Nevada State Athletic Commission should do? With Diego Lopez, Armand Sarukan, and that Igor Severino guy. Let me know what you think of this in the comments. I don't mean the world to me if you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification. Thank you so much for watching.